Introducing Maple Syrup Urine Disease Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Professor Doctor and today we'll be talking to you about Maple Syrup Urine Disease, which we'll refer to as MSUD throughout this entire educational video. No, I did not make that up. You're probably very eager and want to ask. How does it affect the victim? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's characterized by poor feeding, vomiting, and lethargy, which means you're tired all the live long time. You might wonder, what might it be like to have this disorder? You might have a baby whose urine suspiciously smells like maple syrup. And here's a skit to explain it further. What is that delectable smell? Hmm, smells like what I put on my pancakes. You might also wonder, is this disorder physically disabling? Yes, yes it is. It can cause developmental delay. And another thing you might wonder, will the life of an infant with MSUD be shortened? Yes, yes it might be. It depends on if it is left untreated or not. Which brings me to your next question that I know you want to ask. Is it fatal? Yes, yes it can potentially. If left untreated, MSUD can lead to seizures, coma, and death. And our last question that you'd like to ask. How common is this mysterious disorder? Every one in 185,000 infants worldwide are affected with this disorder. <laughs> Welcome to lesson two of Mabel Syrup Urine Disorder and you. You're still not done asking me questions. Right now you're probably thinking, what is the cause of this disorder? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's all your parents' fault. MSUD is an inherited disorder in the form of an autosomal recessive pattern. That means if both your parents carry the trait, you have a 25% chance of getting maple syrup urine disease. 50% chance of being a carrier of maple syrup urine disease. And a 25% chance of not having or carrying maple syrup urine disease. Mutations in the Bacta, Bacta, Dibit, and DLD genes causes MSUD. These are all located on chromosome 6. Now you're wondering, what? Well, I'm here to tell you that those genes work together in making a protein complex that breaks down the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Later, kiddos. It's later, kiddos. And if you thought you were done asking me questions, you're wrong. You're probably pondering the inquiry of... What kind of tests can confirm your baby's diagnosis of MSUD? Well, I'm here to tell you, before any tests are conducted, if your baby's urine smells like that stuff you put on your pancakes, you might have a winner. As I talked about in lesson two, genetic counseling can tell you if you're at risk for that 25%, 50%, 25% ratio of getting MSUD. Just remember, GC. That's true for genetic counseling. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. What kind of treatment is available for MSUD? 
And probably your response will be another question. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that a question? Yes. Yes, it is. Your baby must go on a protein-free diet, which means no milk, no eggs, and no meat. For life. To make up for this lack of protein, painful injections of fats, sugars, and fluids by IV will have to be done often. For life. Your baby must remain on this permanent diet. For life. And your baby will be required to have frequent blood tests and close supervision by a registered dietitian and a registered physician for life. As perhaps your final question, you're asking, can it be cured? No, no it can't. This is Professor Doctor, and I'm out.